Good morning, friendlies. Amazing spot. We're in Indian bread, Indian bread rocks, BLM area, dispersed camping, and uh, gorgeous hiking. So I'm just bringing you on my hike this morning. I mean, it's gorgeous. I didn't turn on my walking app because I didn't expect to go this far, but I think I'm, I'm at least a mile from camp. I'll turn the walking app on my way back. Oh my gosh. So I'm way out the road past the dispersed camping area and the, and the day use area, the picnic area. There's people way out here. The road's not bad. A little sandy at first and then it gets like this. Nothing I couldn't do. I mean, if this guy can do it, I can do it, right? <laughs> Moo. Little cow. Oh, there's like... Is that a house back there? You see it? Interesting. Some eating those, uh, or just trampled on, huh? Indian Bread Rock Recreation Area is a BLM campground with dispersed camping, and it's in Bowie, Arizona, which is about 118 miles east of Tucson. This area consists of rugged slopes of the Dos Cabezas Mountains, and elevations range from 4,080 feet to 7,500 feet, which gives it a variety of plant and animal life. My camp is down there. Dos Cabezas Wilderness was designated in 1990 and has a total of 11,700 acres. All of it is within Arizona. And of the wildlife here, you can find white-tailed deer, mule deer, mountain lions, golden eagles, and bald eagles. The endangered peregrine falcon also migrates through the area. You might get lucky enough to see one. All right, I'm floating already. So... So I can unplug my Starlink and laptop from the Blue Eddy and charge it into my inverter. So it's the beginning of January and after a long cross-country trip that took me two months to get to Arizona from New York, I'm feeling like I made it. And I'm going to stay here for a while, so it's a good opportunity to clean up a little bit. Get some things done around the RV that I need to get done.
All right, well that lasts about five minutes. You know, no matter how much you clean in a tiny space, in an RV, it just is never clean. It just never stays clean, especially an older RV. They are not hermetically sealed. And uh, just, it's just part of my life. Dirt is part of my life and I'm okay with that. Are you? <laughs> Closer to nature, that's how I look at it. What's on your nose here? Let me get it. Okay, I got it. See? It's, you can't eat it. It's prickly. My screen door is the absolute worst. It rattles and flaps around when I'm driving. Just the top panel and the bottom panel are loose no matter how much I tighten it. But the screws do come loose in both my door and my screen door. So I try to tighten them at least once or twice a year. I get in there and tighten them. Makes me wonder what my frame looks like. I don't want to know. Okay, I'm going to get a little work done now. I don't have to do any video editing today, but I have some social media posts I need to create for Facebook and Instagram. I have a newsletter that I need to proofread. I have a blog that I need to do some rewriting on and proofing and editing. I have to get some books to my accountant and a couple other little ads and ends. snow. It's actually snowing. <laughs> wow, it's chilly today, only in the 40s.
my solar panel is held in my bumper with magnets and uh, tie wraps, plastic ties. All right, dinner tonight's just gonna be a quick burrito. It's been a long day, so uh, I'm gonna I cook up some. I cooked up some rice earlier, trying to get more veggie. So in addition to cooking it in veggie broth, I put carrots in it. What else? with some black beans and I'm not gonna do anything fancy to the black beans and I'm gonna make a quick cabbage salad. There's a baby. You're so funny because when you're outside, you ignore them. It's okay. It's okay. They're just moseying through. They live here. We don't. We don't live here. They do. It's okay. We're just visiting. Just hope they don't eat my Starlink. Or trample it. Oh, look okay, at they're eating. We were wondering what they eat. It was. Oh, look at. It. I'm gonna make a quick cabbage salad with lime and cilantro and pino and green onions cuz i need i have them and i need to use them Mission gluten free wraps.
and some spinach. Throw in all that extra vegetables that I need and uh, that's going to be dinner tonight. Super easy. Nothing fancy. Something halfway decent. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just going to relax the rest of the night. A long day. Quick burrito ish. <laughs> I'm like a wrap, I guess. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't wrap it up like a burrito. There we go. Not bad for a quick meal. Actually, if I was, uh, had more energy, I would do up the beans with spices and stuff like that instead of just throwing them in. But I don't have the energy, so this is good. Twisted it back enough to where it's kind of half working now. But uh, when we get to Fairbanks, I'm going to replace that windshield wiper arm. And then I should just get new wiper blades while I'm at it. Now it looks like this truck is stuck up here. Oh, there
Mình gọi sai bóp đi thôi Where's he, girl? You want to go for a walk? Katie girl, where are you? Come on. Are you talking to me or Sadie? Sadie. There she is. Hi. Okay, go. Be free. Thank you. Doing. Are you having fun? Wow. Must be a cow. Wonder what got it. Huh. Pack of coyotes, probably. You see that? That rock right there looks like a critter, like a beaver or something. 
So this is Indian Bread Rocks dispersed camping in eastern Arizona. My first stop in Arizona, I think. Didn't film anything in New Mexico. I uh, spent some time there, but I didn't film anything. And uh, come to find out, I've been here before. <laughs> I had seen on RV Women on Facebook, oh, a woman posted a picture of a rig up against some beautiful rocks. I was like, I want to go there. And she named Indian Bread Rocks. And I was like, I want to go there. So I pinned it on the map. And as I got closer, I was like, yeah, that's perfect timing for my travels. And driving through the little town of Bowie. That's where I am, Bowie, near Bowie, Arizona. I'm like, I think I've been here before. I think I've been here before. And then I drove out here. I'm like, I've definitely been here before. So I think I shot a video here. It was right after I bought my RV in Albuquerque and I was on my way back west. This was my first stop in Arizona because it's right over the border. I just stayed one night. And when I drove through this time, I drove up to the dispersed camping area, which is just about a half mile up the road. And it was pretty full. There's a road that goes further out, but it was late and I didn't feel like doing a rough road. This spot was empty. <laughs> this is the exact same spot I was in last time. I don't know. I think I filmed a video. I'm pretty sure I filmed a video. I'll have to see if I can find it, put it in the link in the video description below and maybe put some B-roll here. But uh, yeah, right after my, my rig was brand spanking new, I was with Capone and I just stayed here one night. But uh, we've been here, gosh, more than a week. Spent New Year's here. I got here like the day before my friends and my friends joined me. And my goodness, what a gorgeous spot to be. I'm at 4,000 feet in elevation. So the nights are getting into the 20s, but I haven't had any problems. I think 27 is the coldest. We got a big storm last night with heavy rain and winds and snow woke up to snow on the mountains this morning yeah how lucky am i it's amazing beautiful open skies beautiful stars stars i missed the meteor shower last night it was supposed to be a really good meteor shower last night but it was too stormy so anyway i'm gonna shut up and just walk let you enjoy the sights and sounds of my surroundings. See you, girl. Come on. You look tired. Come on, we're almost at the top.
didn't stop yet. Let's go. Let's get it done. Got camera in one hand, coffee in the other. Somebody's camped in the day use. I've never seen that since I've been here. So all the way over on the left with the bathroom as day use and all the rest is dispersed. And I walked a mile and a half out that road around that bend and there were people all the way out there. Not a lot of camping, but there's some and the road is fine. I could, totally could have done it with no problem. So I, I want to climb up that right there. Edie and I have a plan to go hike up there. Up that, you see that canyon up there? I want to see how far we can go. When there's water, there's a waterfall. So I bet there's pools of water, especially after the rain. So I think we're going to go do that tomorrow. Look at that. We're going to go. I'd love to make it all the way back there, but it looks pretty rugged. Scrambling, bouldering. We'll see. What do you think, say girl? Hi, my little adventurous. My little adventurer. Oh, look at that. Survey marker. 1945. Nine. is down there on the other side of that boulder. eaten. Just came from up there. Can't help but wonder if that was like some kind of working area. So there's archaeological evidence throughout Arizona of the presence of Paleo-Indians 
dating back 13,000 years. Over subsequent millennia, several complex and long-lived cultures emerged, included the Hohokam Magoyan, Sinigua, and Ancestral Puebloans. See that? That looks like a face. Wow, that does look like a face. You see it? The first Spanish settlers arrived in present-day Arizona in the mid-16th century, later establishing missions and drastically disrupting the indigenous way of life. Unfortunately, I couldn't find hardly any history predating colonizers of this area, but I'm going to assume that Indian bread rocks got its name from the grinding holes in the rocks. Grinding holes are also called bedrock mortars because the rocks served as a mortar against which women pounded dried goods into flour. In the Arizona desert, they most likely ground mesquite pods for a delicious and sweet flour. They also probably ground corn into cornmeal. Native American ground holes? I think they are. Wow. Look at them all. They've got to be. Look at, interesting too, right around where water would have puddled in the rain. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Want we'll get a drink? <laughs> they make good water caches, don't they? Want get a drink? Can you imagine Native Americans just working in here? So I notice a lot of these holes are under rocks, like right under these big giant rocks, and I bet it's for shade, because I would imagine they harvested summer and fall when it's really hot. I guess, and then they dried it out in the sun and then they ground it into flour. So yeah, I bet they put their work areas in the shade. But can you imagine that life? Wow, look at that. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and see what I feel. Pretty sure that's sage, sage brush. <clears throat> mm, smells good.
Jesus. Alright, so how beautiful was that? Indian Bread Rocks in Arizona near Bowie. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to add it to your bucket list, let me know in the comments below. Say, yes, I'm adding it to my bucket list. It's worth a visit, that's for sure. And next week, you're not going to want to miss it. I am launching my Baja series. Uh, my travels, I'm in Baja. <laughs> and I'm going to be starting to do videos next week. And you'll never guess what kind of mayhem happened my first day. You'll never guess. If you have any guesses, leave them below. And make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. And even if you think you're subscribed, double check because YouTube unsubscribes people all the time. Also, there is a, a hike that Edie and I did, my friend Edie, who was camped with me. We did a hike. It was brutal. She thinks I'm trying to kill her. It was ridiculous, but I didn't have time to add it to this video. I ran out of time to get it uploaded for you. So what I'm going to do is put it together sometime this week and put it on Patreon for paid patrons. You can also join Patreon now for free, and I'm posting some extra bonus content on Patreon for free but if you can join it really helps keep this channel going today's video took 16 or 17 hours so it really helps me uh continue to do this full time all right so go ahead and check that out in the link below and i'll see you next time from baja in the meantime be happy be free be kind thank you